New Year's Day at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas and the Rice Owls of the Southwest Conference meet the Alabama Crimson Tide of the Southeastern. Alabama opens with a great show of power and moves for a first quarter touchdown. As we pick up play, Tommy Lewis, the Alabama fullback, roars up the middle for 16 yards. So it's Tommy Lewis again. He's the big noise as he rides high, wide, and handsome. The Owls move in from all sides to bring him down on the four-yard line. And again, it's Tommy Lewis as he punches the middle. He racks up a first touchdown. Point is missed, and it's 6-0, Alabama. But Rice has a ready answer to this problem on the first play of the second quarter. Dickie Mago takes a handoff on the right side. He's off and running. He builds up speed in a jiffy, and the tied secondaries have to eat his dust. Mago serves due notice that this is his day. He goes 79 yards for the touchdown. Fence to make a placement is good, and Rice goes out in front, 7-6. But the boys from Alabama came to play football, and they counterpunch. Oliver has it on a handoff from Starr. Lots of help up front, and the last tackle is checked to Leroy Fenstermaker, who stops this 54-yard run by Oliver, 22 yards away from the Rice goal line. That's Starr from Alabama once again. He's back to pass. Nobody open for this shot, but that looks like a lot of daylight around the right side, and Starr goes for it. Magel and Hart close in at the 10-yard line. There's a fumble, and Mac Taylor recovers for Rice as the Owls take over on their own 10. A penalty sets the Owls back to their own 5-yard line, and now here comes the play they'll remember a long time. Dickie Magel takes off to the right. Walkers turn the flankers, and that clears Dickie for the outside. Now for the unexpected. From out of nowhere comes Tommy Lewis, and Magel is tipped down. The officials awarded the Owls a touchdown on the unusual misadventure. Mago got credit for a 95-yard run. Dickey was unhurt. He held for the extra point. Fence to make a made it good, and the Owls had a 14-6 lead at halftime. And then the Kilgore Rangerettes always put on a fine show at half, so let's watch them. for one more pearl as Mago rounded out his great day. Here's Dickey off on a 34-yard run that accounts for the third Rice touchdown. The Owls went on to score again, and the final score in the Cotton Bowl, 28-6, Rice over Alabama. And that's a look at the highlights of Southwest Conference football last season. Be sure to join us again this year when we'll go to the games with Humble.